Welcome back everybody, it's Ashpaz here bringing you more Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door. Now, as we last left off, we met the Goomba Tree, Family Tree, and all that, and all that good stuff. And like I said, there's going to be a lot of, a lot of introductory stuff, a lot of, a lot of things we're going to be going back over and doing uh, more repetitive because this is in the beginning. In the beginning, we got to make sure that we have all of our background information established so that we can move on in a nice and effective manner. And I fudged that jump. I should have got that one go. Like that. That's smoother. That is an insta kill. Okay, it's not insta kill because I had to hit twice. But you know what I mean. Like, it makes it, it's a necessity. Hey. So now we're traveling through the sewers. That's kind of looking for things. Come on. Burp. I didn't quite land on him, but I'll take it, you know? I don't. I'm, I'm totally fine with, uh, you know, whatever that was. So let's see. Did I get the fire cloud from the last fight? I think I did. I don't know. I, I took a break between that one. I originally had recorded three episodes, but things happened, and so I had to go back, but I could only record one as a replacement. You got an item! You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press blue to start pause and choose items from your gear screen to see. That's a gear screen. I wanted to say gear menu, but that's not right. And fire flower, boom, gotcha. I struck first. First come, first serve. First come, first to die. Oh, by the way, I did see the purge. Um, the purge election year. I saw that, uh, what was it, two days ago? Yeah, I saw it two days ago. And uh, we'll say it is definitely worth watching. If you are a fan of the Purge movies, you will enjoy this new installment of the Purge. A Purge, it definitely, uh... I'm not gonna give away anything, I'm not gonna give away anything big. I'm just gonna say, like, in the whole- Hey, puny. In the whole fashion scheme of things, um, gonna kill this guy. The Purge election year did what Purge 2 was trying to do, but a lot better. It made it feel like more of a nationwide thing, was, whereas Purge 1 was kind of like, you know, everything was kept in that one house. Purge 2, they kind of went out and explored a bit. And then Purge 3, the Purge election year is when things like really changed up. And uh, I like it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, can I hit this? Also, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, get all these little tattle things. That's a Spinia! A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Its attack is super swift, and it should be pretty easy to just give it a hiya. What do you mean by a hiya? What the hell is that? Oh well, I'm gonna argue. You can do whatever you want. I don't know what kind of sound effects you're particularly prone to doing. Anywho. So there should be another one. Yeah, right there. Gotcha. I, I noticed you. I, I managed to catch you off guard. So, okay. So let's go ahead and hit this guy. And then I'll have you head bump this one guy. Because I think you only do one damage. No, you do two. Okay, never mind. It didn't really matter which way I did it. Oh, I couldn't get it. I was trying to get the counter. Because if you hit B at the right timing, when they hit you, you can counter them and deal damage to them, and it's wonderful. It requires a lot, you know, visual timing. Something I'm not always good at, but it's really good when you get it. Also, finding health on the ground is also a wonderful thing. Hit! This game was just so very delightful to play. Like, if, like definitely Paper Mario series is definitely good. I haven't played any of the new ones, so that's for like, uh... For like the DS, I haven't played any of those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. Strange black key. Well, what could it be for? I don't know. It could be for a lot of things. What, what would I do with a black key? Maybe open a black box. Pandora's box. And that's not something you should open. If you know anything about Pandora's box, you do not open it, no matter what happens. Hey, black box. Hmm. Exclamation point. Tell me something about this box. Well, yeah. This is a black chest. Wonder what's inside it. Well, that was useful. Whoa! Hold on, hold on. Hey, you. You can- can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else? Nothing. See, long ago an evil spirit cast a curse on me. 
I was l locking me in this box. I was bummed. It's not much to do around here. There's a few specks of dust, kind of swirl them around, making a tornado. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy. What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Oh, you know, just searching for treasure. Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are the hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you need to- if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for a key to this box, then use it to let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. Picture. Wonderful. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in the box is no picnic. I mean, there's a few sandwiches in addition to the specks of dust, but I mean, it's not much. I'm counting on you, oh, great legendary hero. Hmm. Open the box, or say nah. Open the box, or say nah. What's up in the box? What's behind box number one? Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key? Yes. Oh man, I owe you big. Black key? Well, let's go out and use it. Yes! Thank. Ha! Thank nothing! No, I'm getting really loud. Well, we're here! Fools! I wonder if you could tell by my voice what kind, of, what kind of person he is. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Here's some dust. Yeah, sorry, but those are the bricks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly boogly woo, you're cursed. If only it was that easy. It's like, you're cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. I mean, I helped you, and you, you, you want me to suffer? And I, I guess that's what I deserve? Possibly? You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? It's pretty flame, like my mixtape. Then listen well to my mixtape. From now on, if you press blue in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. We trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. We oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Like so. Yeah, okay. You're on the panel. Now try pressing blue, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. I love how I gain, like, just extra area just so I fold nice and neatly. The worst part of this curse is that you must tip blue left and right to control yourself. I guess if you're good at it, then maybe you fly a long way. But that's only a good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? I zoned out, what was that? Yeah, I get it, it's terrible. You're a terrible guy. <laughs> but if you press Brutal, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> He just kind of storms off because, you know, we just have a dandy old time, right? So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? I don't know. He kind of didn't really have a form. He was just kind of there. He kind of existed. I do that a lot. Whenever I'm at a party, I just kind of exist. I don't really do much. I'm just there for good times and, you know, just... I bring good vibes. I just That's all I do. That's all I bring to the party. I just bring good vibes. Please, if you're feeling good vibes at a party, that means I'm there. You know it. More just good vibes, Mike. I got you. Today's boss is all about nothing but good vibes. Oh, Mario, Gumball, look at that. Oh, I forgot his voice. I've been doing that one a little too deep. It's a thousand year door, spoken of in the legends. I can't believe it's real. The legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come. Wait. So, just by looking at it, you can tell that this door is exactly a thousand years old. Wait, actually, now that I think about it, this door, um, this door here was made 
in 2008, because that's when this game was released. Now bear with me. So it's been about it's been about eight years since. So technically, that makes this the thousand and eight year door. So we're gonna have to find a different door. Because we need one that's exactly a thousand years. Otherwise, I don't think this whole deal is going to work out. Hey, what's the deal with the weird pedestal? Oh, wait, who is that speaking? I can't tell. I couldn't tell who was speaking. Ah, oh, well. Only one thing to do, and that's to stand on whatever is in the center of the room. Because clearly, that's how you're supposed to do everything. Everything you do, it's supposed to be for the purpose of... I forgot what I was talking about. Professor, what's going on? Hmm. Also, another thing I like about using 2D sprites in three-dimensional space is the fact that the sprites always have to face the screen. Otherwise, it looks incredibly weird. So, like, from a 3D perspective, they're just, like, whirling themselves around as the camera's just sort of rotating. You're just standing there, like, looking at like, what are they doing? And how are they doing that in sync? Because clearly they didn't communicate beforehand. And our little map has actually this map's a little more detailed than it would look like. And actually, it doesn't even have the fold mark, the folding marks that it did when we had it. Interesting. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. This is not the same map. See, look at it. It was a lot more torn up too. Hmm. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned this new special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you use, you get a crystal star, you'll earn a new special move. Well, isn't that wonderful? Professor, the map! And what's with all those crazy lights? Hmm. It appears the information related to location of the crystal star has appeared. And that shiny light? It, look, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Hello. Cool, we're back. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh, I see. Oh, there's something on the rooftop there. I should uh, should go check that out. Actually, I'm running quite over time the way I intended, so I'll pick this up in the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Tadashi Basu playing Paper Mario: A Thousand Year Door. And if you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tadashi Basu, signing out. Bye, everybody.